according to Mormon Bishop John D. Lee. Rosmos Anderson was a Danish Mormon who was put to death under the Blood Atonement doctrine for adultery by having his throat cut. Bishop Lee wrote, Anderson, being a firm believer in the doctrines and teachings of the Mormon Church, made no objections, but asked for half a day to prepare for death. His wife was ordered to prepare a suit of clean clothing in which to have her husband buried. Clingen Smith, James Haslam, Daniel McFarland and John M. Higby dug a grave in the field near Cedar City, and that night, about twelve o'clock, went to Anderson's house. Anderson got up, dressed himself, bid his family goodbye, and without a word of remonstrance accompanied those that he believed were carrying out the will of the Almighty God. They went to the place where the grave was prepared. Anderson knelt upon the side of the grave and prayed. Clingen Smith and his company then cut Anderson's throat from ear to ear and held him so that his blood ran into the grave. As soon as he was dead they dressed him in his clean clothes, threw him into the grave and buried him. They then carried his bloody clothing back to his wife to wash, when she was again instructed to say that her husband was in California.